Nah, man. You good. Batter up! Ugh! I hope you like the taste of tree! Bitch! Alright, here we go. Pain Train Part 2! Choo choo, motherfucker! What's going on fam, your boy Jay Samba is here and so uh, today we have a very interesting episode of Canon Culture. So today, as you guys know, Canon Culture is the show where I sit down, talk, talk a little trash, talk some garbage, okay, about the entertainment industry and stuff that I like, stuff that I don't like, give some professional and personal opinions on stuff, you know, the typical stuff to get all the clickbait views and stuff, you know, the things people are trying to drag me for, but then they find out that I have great content. So, you know, whatever. But um, anyway, that aside, today we have a very interesting, very, very interesting and very special, might I say, episode. So it's come to my attention that I put out a tweet a couple of days ago that was uh, supposed to be satire. It was supposed to be uh, just all sorts of sarcasm, okay? Um, it was uh, to the effect of the fact that I can't afford the new God of War game, okay? I just can't. It's not, it's not in the budget. It doesn't fit. I mean, I know you guys are thinking like, oh, well, I mean whatever it is what it is normal people think that i think and all the spiteful hateful people will be like yeah that's right you can't afford shit because you're fucking broke exactly i'm fucking broke so with that being said it's very interesting that this topic has come up now my buddy heavenly controller which i'm sure a lot of you know uh <laughs> put out a put out a tweet a couple of days ago actually not directly calling me out for it because i'm pretty sure i'm one of the first people who tweeted about uh, essentially not being able to play games so live reacting to specific parts of games and it seemed like his tweet was not <laughs> it was not taken very well by a lot of people at least in my opinion because I didn't take it very nicely I didn't take it very well not everybody can afford to just pick up and drop games especially when it comes to like buying multiple games a year so this actually hit me in a very specific way where I was just like oh my nigga really like you gon' it wasn't directed towards me because otherwise he would have put my name in the tweet because that's just how the fuck we operate. But then I was like, okay, I have to defend the smaller YouTubers out there because I can't afford shit and uh, I do have a YouTube check. So I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Like it hurt. It, it hit me and, it, and like it, it was just like I got rickied, my nigga. Like it was just, it felt, your boy felt some type of way. Okay, so really, as I was sitting there thinking about it, I was like, okay, is this really an issue with live reacting to other people's gameplay, even though, let's say, the person's commentary is not in it? Why would you upload commentary free, like, you know, why would you upload content with no commentary in it with no form of personality no way of branding no way of just like fixing your fucking camera so in it adjusts no way of like really putting your stamp on something i mean the least people do is like watermark stuff like okay i get it you you're watermarking that's your way of like trying to make this your thing bro we got after effects premiere photoshop we can get rid of all that shit that shit is not an issue Okay, I can even put my, my face cam in front of somebody else's gameplay. I mean, what difference does it make if I'm actually physically playing the game compared to parts that are being played when I'm going to have probably identical reactions? Let me give you an example. Whoo, okay. Uh, check this out, my boy. You do not want the hands, I promise you. Listen, sir, you gonna have to chill the fuck. Oh, hell no, Kratos. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass, man. You're not just about to let this man disrespect you like that. Not in your own house. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Hold on, sir. You gonna have to stop it. Now, listen here, you motherfucking bitch. Sit your ass down. All right, now listen, man. I'm not gonna continue to whoop your ass. You can't. You don't have to go home, but you're gonna have to get the hell out of here, man. Right. What you mean? Oh shit! Ho! Oh. Yo, whose man's is this? Hold up, wait a minute. 
This not a normal nigga. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Oof. Okay. All right. You doing the most. Son oh my goodness. Oh lord. Oh my god. Put me down. Put me down. Hello. Oh. All right. All right. You 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 tripping. You tripping tripping big fella. I'm gonna need you to relax. Why are there two beds? Simple. One is for me to sleep on. The other is to get my freak on. You bitch made mother fucking uh, shit. Yeah, good. Oh god. Oh my lord, my spine. Oh god. I got a splinter. Nah, man. You good? Better up. Come here, bitch. Riding the pain train. Yay. Uh, I hope you like the taste of tree. Bitch. All right, here we go. Pain train part two. Choo choo, motherfucker. So I guess with this example, I'm just trying to let you guys know what point does it make if you're still getting the same type of entertainment? I just. I just don't understand the correlation because if you come to a channel for a personality and not the source of what it is that they're playing, say your favorite YouTuber is playing God of War, or say your favorite YouTuber is sitting around doing IRL and just scrolling on their phones or playing Naruto Blazing or I don't know, Dokkan Battle or any other type of game or whatever they may be doing. You're coming for them and their personality. You're not coming for the type of content that they're making. I mean, it's great that they're making God of War content. So is everybody else. I mean, PewDiePie himself even was going to make a God, a set of God of War videos. He was going to make a series of it because he had posted about it on Twitter. And as he was like going through the rendering process, he decided last minute to decide not to. And he made a very good point as to everybody else is literally going to do this. What do you need my video for? Like, I just, I'm not doing it for the same reason anymore. I just want to play games to have fun. Not to like make videos and and just really like turn it out like you're trying to be a machine like he just wanted to have some fun so he didn't upload the videos which I mean that's PewDiePie he's the biggest person on this platform for him to decide hey I don't have to do God of War 4 I understand that like I, I totally get it but at the same time you have smaller YouTubers who can't really you know we don't really want to sit and hype up our channel off of one game if we're gonna invest sixty dollars in like sixty dollars is a point of no return once you're putting in that money it's not like investment seed money where you expect to have some type of roi later down the road because most small youtubers can't even monetize their content but all the like higher level small tier which i would consider to be one to five thousand subs that's small but high tier and then you have like the mediums are probably like 10 to 50,000. Like that's probably like medium tier, you know what I mean? So like, it's still on the low end, but it's like getting up there, you know what I mean? So when you drop that type of money and like, there's no guarantee of ROI, you're gonna get, just get buried by search results anyway. And you're kind of just picking and like, like getting like a few followers here and there. It's not really so much that you can do in order to be different anyway. So if you're gonna pick up the same game as everybody else and, and provide the same type of content, you have to provide some type of thing that makes you different. So if I'm live reacting to only the best parts of this game, because I can't afford to buy the game, then what's the fucking issue? Because if I were playing the game physically, the only thing that would be different is that you're hearing button clicks in the background. That's about it, to be honest with you, because I'm still going to have the same type of effect, the same type of reaction, and I'm watching the exact same gameplay that I would have experienced had I been playing the game. Now, I under also understand that sometimes you feel a game when you play it. Sometimes games are completely different when you play them compared to when you watch them. But if there's a starting point for everything, just like how there's a starting point for a YouTube channel, you're not gonna be doing everything professionally the first time. You're not gonna start your channel with softbox lights and the best camera ever and the best microphone setup. So you gotta do what you gotta do in order to make the type of content that you wanna put out. So what's the difference between, uh, here's another example, what's the difference between me live reacting to somebody else's gameplay that they provided with no commentary and I can use at, at my free will, I can just rip it from the internet, I mean, Why'd you upload it then if you were worried about somebody stealing it? So that's number, that's I guess like number four, but 
really, you gotta do what you can when you're a smaller tier YouTuber. So, to those people out there who are talking shit and thinking like, yo, it's, it's, it's a big deal that YouTubers are out here faking gameplay and shit like that, who fucking cares if your commentary is dope? Like, if you're entertaining people, who fucking cares? Like, how does that matter in the grand scheme of things? Like, if you're providing a service to somebody else, just because you don't have the original source material that it's from, because I could rip an entire live reaction that I've done of multiple movies and trailers and gameplay trailers and stuff like that, and just completely take the source material out and it just be my face and like some audio and I'm telling you what's happening and I'm just commentating on the whole thing. What's the difference between that type of live reaction and actually live playing the game? Now I can understand if you're live streaming and you feel the need to be entertaining for long periods of time and both of my eyes hurt, uh, and you feel the need to be playing the game for four hours. I mean, if you're faking live stream stuff, that I feel like that is different because that is supposed to be a one-to-one -one interaction with you and your audience while you're playing this game and you're telling them your experience of it, then I feel like it's kind of a fallacy if you're saying, well, the game plays great or I am enjoying this about the game that has nothing to do with cutscenes. Like, the game plays dope. Well, you're not really playing the game, so you can't really say, you can say the gameplay looks dope, but then that's just a matter of like mixing and matching words. So really, if you wanna nitpick it so much, it's not really a big deal so stop shitting on other youtubers for it so it just doesn't I, I don't feel some type of way about it because well I mean I do feel some type of way about it because I'm a part of that group of people that can't afford to buy every single game and not only that it would allow an avenue for you to make content off of stuff that you don't have I would love to make Nintendo Switch content without having to actually own a Nintendo Switch because that means I would have to purchase one, that means I would own one, that means I would be supporting Nintendo. And I just don't do those three things. That is not something I do. But if I wanted to give Nintendo some free publicity, which they don't believe in anyway, and finagle my way around whatever type of fucking copyright system that they have, um, I would totally be down to do that. I would play stuff like Smash. I would play stuff like Bayonetta or whatever the fuck they have on the Switch. I, I don't know because I don't really like look at Switch games. I would definitely put Mario Kart on my, on my channel. That would be dope. I would have all my friends around and we would just play Mario Kart. That, I, like how crazy would that be? But alas, I don't have those games and I would love to make content for them. I would love to just commentate on stuff. I would love to just talk about stuff that if I watch eight, nine hours of content, I feel like I'm a part of that material. So, you know, especially for somebody like me who continuously talks for n for absolutely no reason whatsoever, okay? So, you know, that's just how I feel about the situation, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I know this has been a very strange video and it doesn't have like some of the meanings that the usual canon culture episodes but this was just such a topic to me that like needed to be addressed i really want to know what people think are you somebody about live reacting or do you care about the gameplay do you care that your favorite creator is playing the game because really all you're doing is watching in the first place so you yourself are watching me play a game so I don't really see like an issue in that. Now I can understand if, if, if it's single player, who gives a shit? If it's multiplayer and you're you're pretending to be like one of these big badasses in the community or whatever, cause you're so good or whatever, that's 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 lying. That's click clickbait. That's lying. That's that's just a fallacy. That is that is bullshit that you're you're trying to portray on an audience because you're you don't even own the game, sir. So I could I could understand that. So maybe we'll draw the line there. When it comes to multiplayer, don't do it for multiplayer. Single player, it's okay. So maybe we can agree on that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also make sure to click the notification bell. So that way you can be notified every time I upload, make a post, live stream, all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, this has been your boy Jay Sama. And I'll catch you guys next time. And make sure to keep it canon.